Hey guys, so I was in Illustrator and I was designing this, uh, it was kind of like a form and I came to the point where I needed to do a signature with this kind of underline field right here and I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to do it. So at first I just thought, um, well, I'll just use the line tool. So I came over here and I, this first one is just a line. The problem of that is that the lines uh, come out from the sort of center line, the center spline right there. And so the difficulty that creates is that you can't snap it to anything. So here's my um, piece of type right here. And if I've got smart guides turned on, it'll snap there, but it'll snap the center line. So the top of this is actually going to be above there and typically not what you want. So then I decided to do a box and that's a much better option because then that allows me to actually snap to the baseline and the top. You can actually still snap to that center line if your smart guides are turned on. But I want to be down here because I want the type that they that the person writes to sit on the same baseline as this signature type right here. Now, you may be thinking, oh, well, I, isn't there like some setting in the strokes that I can change, uh, this align stroke setting? And that's true for shapes, but it's not true for lines. So if you see here, um, what we would really want would be align stroke to inside. And so that would be a nice feature to have, but Illustrator doesn't have it uh, because when it's just a line, it doesn't have an inside or an outside. Everything is an outside, right? So you can't, can't do that. So if you're making this sort of line, the best option is to go and to use a shape. Now, I want, did want to show you one caveat, and this is one uh, Illustrator bug um, that I discovered, and that is if you are going to uh, scale this down, if you by accident scale it down to zero height, um, then you end up with this kind of thing with just kind of like a ghost little thing. Now you can still expand this and that's fine like that. But if you come over to the transform panel and you transform it to zero, watch what's going to happen um, down here. It turns into this kind of line, line in the middle just showing the outline of the shape. But the interesting thing is that if I want to expand it and as that's just an accident, I can't actually expand it. And uh, I have to, I, I can't really do anything. I would just have to go back. So I can add a stroke, but in terms of the fill, it's, it's height, it's actually gone. So even if I go over here to the transform panel and I say I want this to be four pixels, um, it doesn't do it and it just uh, goes back to zero. So that's a little little bit of bug, but the, but the main thing is, is if you're making these sort of things, you want to go with a box and not the line. All right, I hope that's helpful.